Good morning, everyone. I hope you are well. So uh, yesterday, uh, let me just double check. I can't remember if I needed to do anything else before I stitched these to the... Oh, I needed to trim that down. That's what I needed to do. So we'll do that. Let me just... Um, I'm going to do a very bodgy measurement here. I hope everybody is well. I'm going to just go like this. I actually want it to be a bit smaller. So I'll put it about there, my marking. Hopefully I'll be able to see it. Um, hope you're all well. And um, where did I put my cutter? I know I've got my cutter here. Um, it's a lovely day. The, it doesn't seem to be as humid as it has been. We had a bit of rain during the, not last night, but the other day. A bit of a storm chopped off that nice bit there, but that, well, well, this is what happens. And I want to trim it down. To, I don't want it to be the same height as my pages. So I'm just going to trim it down. Yeah, the humidity has gone. Seems to have gone. So that's good. I, I really don't enjoy humidity. So um, that makes me happy. I've still got enough book page there. So we won't be able to see all the white. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, so that goes in the centre there. Like so. Yes, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller. Okay. So I don't think there's anything I need to do in there before... Um, I sort of stitch it in. And I think this is all very all good here. I am going to glue some paper there, but I don't need to do anything else there. And I was going to stitch around it, but I don't feel like it needs it. And in here, I think we're all good. Okay, so we're going to sew in our signatures. Um, we probably won't attach them to the spine yet because I'll need to let you'll see what I mean I need to I'll link, need to let this dry and I need my so this is um for anybody who's new this is um like a Japanese screw punch um and you can buy them on Amazon and uh, you just push it down like so and it makes a hole and they're nice sometimes I use both the awl and the book awl I'll show you what that is if you're new where is it here? This is a book haul. You can buy these kits on Amazon. They, they come with everything that you need. Um, and that's a book haul, so that punches holes. Um, the screw punch just does a nice, neat hole. Not always. On a thin thing like this, it's very neat. Sometimes I use both. Like you'll see with my books, I'll start off with this and then I'll finish it off with my book haul. So you put your holes in where you put your measurements. And those of you who've been watching me for quite some time have already seen me do this, so this won't be anything exciting for you. Okay, I just I just get this and sort of, sort of fills up. But they do come out by themselves, but sometimes I just... But so I, I remember my measurements. It was um, the middle and then two inches. Uh, now I've got to find the centre is... Where's the centre here? Yeah, that's the centre. So what I, I... Not everybody does this, but I like to have... Put two clips. I put one here and one here. And before, before I put it down, I sort of squished down my pages. I'm going to sit down now. I squished down my pages um, just to make sure they're all flush, you know, into each other in here. And I grab my ruler and I just see, sometimes I use my inches to find the centre, but this is nine, 18 centimetres, so 9 centimetres. And then I flip it over and I like to use, I don't know, the 2 inches for this size book. Seems to be quite nice. Put your holes. Hold your hold your pages up like so. And then and then you go with your book hole. 
give it a twist. Now it is going through, that's gone right through, so that's good. So I don't need to use my book all because I don't have, if you've got a lot of pages, I start off with this and then I push through with my book all because this will not go through a million pages. We'll go through this amount, which is not too many. I don't know how many we've put in. Um, but it won't go through if you've got more pages. Okay, so I just push that one through. And I keep them clipped. That's my bottom signature. I keep my, my signatures flipped over like this. That's the top. That's the middle um, now because I've taken the bottom one off. Because um, that way I don't get confused. Because it's easy con to confuse me, as you know. Um, so um, quite a lot of people have asked me, where did I, what is this kit? Um, it's not my kit. It's from um, Medieval Mirage. And I have put, in every video, put the link to the kits that I'm using in the description box. So that's the little arrow below the video on the bottom right-hand corner usually. Um, you click that to expand the description box and it will say part one, part two, part three or whatever on part four. And then it will say Medieval Mirage Kits and there'll be two links there. One lady said she was having trouble finding them, so I'm just telling you just to help. Takes quite a bit of effort because it's got quite a strong, obviously quite a strong spring in it. I can't be bothered with it, so I'm just going to, well, I need to do a bit more there. Give it a twist. I think mine's going blunt. I think I've said that before. I probably need to sharpen it a little bit using, um, maybe do it on, I was thinking on some aluminium foil folded over so it's quite thick and punch holes with that, that might sharpen it. So I've got my holes there, so that goes there on top. And then this is my last one. Now this one's a bit thicker because we've got the collaged sheet there as well. Um, and another clip. And, and I say, as I said, I'm pushing them all down into each other before I put my clip on and I've got to measure so yep oh that's good they're all 18 sometimes you've got to do your math you have to get your maths hat on and do your maths because sometimes some things are not easy to have <laughs> you know like if it's um 18.75 that's kind of annoying to have to have that number Okay, here we go. Sometimes I find twisting it is better. Okay, we'll see how we're going. Oh, my arm gets tired. Imagine when you're making lots of books, it's quite tiring. Yep, that's good. And oh, that's not as good. There we go. Got all my holes ready. So next, we're ready to go. You want to make sure you get this piece. Now, I said it before and I'll say it again. I am not an expert at doing the hidden spine. It's kind of, I've been doing it for about a, uh, a year now, but I'm, I've never taken a course. I've just done YouTube videos, watched YouTube videos. So I'm probably not the best person to take you know, as the be all and end all of doing the hidden spine because, or the floating spine, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, so I'm flipping these over like that. I've got my bottom one on the top because I start with the bottom one here. This is going to be my bottom and that's going to be my top signature. I think I'll use this color. Um, yeah, I am not an expert at it at all. There might most likely will be many of you out there who are, have done a Nick the Booksmith course or something like that and you'll be much better at it than I am but this is how I do it and it seems to be working for me so I mean it's not never perfect nothing I ever do is perfect if you want perfection I'm not the one to watch that being said um, I do get to relax quite a bit because I don't worry about being perfect okay 
so I went down the center, came up here, came across here, and then up the center again. And I made sure my two tails are on either side, as you do with a normal pamphlet stitch. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, you know, I've never even attempted a five hole pamphlet stitch. I'm sure I could figure it out. I must try that one day, but I don't, don't really need it for this sort of thing. This is not very um, heavy. I mean, it will become, the pages will become heavier because I'll add pockets and things and tags or journal cards or whatever. Um, however, um, see, so that's attached to there. It's going to be quite a lot of space, I think, in this one to do things. Um, so you can see it's stitched there. Now, one, one thing you need to be careful of, one time I stitched it with that on the outside. It wasn't the end of the world, um, but I wanted, I wanted to be able to see the fabric between the signatures, not the straw paper, although that's not the end of the world. If, if you haven't got lines everywhere that you can see, it's not the end of the world if you have the straw paper on that side. Well, I don't think it is anyway. Right. So we go down the centre. And then through there. Now, I'm a lefty. I don't know if I go in the opposite direction to someone who's right-handed. Then down here. And you can notice I don't cut my I don't cut my string. I know lots of people measure it, like they say, do it double the the length that you need. But I, you have much less wastage if you don't cut it. It's a little bit more annoying because you've got that attached. But um, I just don't waste my thread. Well, I, you know, only a little bit of it. Not as I would waste a lot more if I if I tried to estimate how much I needed. I'll leave them a little bit long just in case. Oh, no, actually, that one's going to be inside. I'll cut that one a bit shorter. I'll leave them a bit longer um, just uh, so if anyone, like if they were to sort of come loose or something, they shouldn't because it's waxed thread, um, then you could tie them up again. So just unravel it. And then, I mean, this kit... I mean, I bought one kit from Amazon with the wax threads. I don't use their needles. I use my own needle, sort of like, I don't know what it's for. It's for weaving or something like that. It's kind of blunt because their needles are sharp. They're very sharp, these needles. Um, I expect they're probably for sewing leather and stuff like that. See, it's very sharp. And what happens is when you come up through the center, you can split your thread and you go in the middle of it and then you can't tighten it because you're in, you've gone through the fret that you need, you're inside the thread, if you know what I mean. So I like to use a blunt needle. I, I, I kind of feel like that's an important thing to think about. I'll go through here. Back up through the centre. Well, that went along without any hiccups, didn't it? I shouldn't speak too soon. Something will happen. Give it a good old tug. Make sure they're tight. Don't want any swinging, swinging signatures. Okay. I like this wax thread too because I did buy another type on um, Etsy. Um, I bought it from a lady in Ireland. It was a wax linen, but it was so thin it cut the papers. And this one doesn't seem to. So they're my signatures, signatures attached to here. And I've got an abundance here. I like to have an abundance here to glue onto the book. Now, I'm not going to glue it onto the book yet because um, I want to put what I like to put here. And you would do, you could do this with, um, what's it called, with cheesecloth. I'd use tea dyed cheesecloth, but I'm going to use this stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know what it's made of. Um, I bought it at a... Um, wholesaler and I, I've said it many times but I do get out questions ask questions about it I'm just going to messily cut off a piece and then um, trim it um, yeah it's shops use it um, they drape it over tables for display that's what it was intended for um, but I thought it was very nice textural sort of stuff to use for this sort of thing so and I don't iron it or anything like that I mean it's just shoved up there on my shelf um, so what I'm going to do so my next job is to, I get this, 
and I smoosh glue everywhere there and then I glue this on and it just peeks out the top and the bottom. It's kind of a way that sort of holds your stitches in place and all that sort of thing as well. Um, so I'm going to use a bit of the, the PVA and that now that's why I'm not going to I'm not going to be gluing this into my book yet because I need to let this dry for a minute. So I may not do it in this video. It might be in the next video. In this video, we'll start making some things to go in the journal when we're ready to put them in. So I'll do that and then I'll just smoosh it. Now, do I have my towel? Oh my goodness, my towel's all the way over there and it's dry, but I'll, I'll just whiz over and, and dry my finger off, I think. So put the glue everywhere. Make sure it sort of comes across here. Okay, just a minute. Gotta wipe my finger. I didn't know my thing was all the oh I got, got glue on my on my thing, on my top. Okay, so then we just I, you know me, I'm a very approximate person. I like being approximate. Okay. So that's gonna glue on there. It's actually not sticky. I probably could glue it. I didn't put an excessive amount of glue, so I probably could put it into the journal. So then we're going to just trim off the excess. I'll keep the excess because I can use that in collaging and things, so we'll keep that. Chuck that over there. Oh, I've got a bit of glue there. That's okay. And then I don't like that roly-poly bit there. We'll snip that off. Now, normally I make this um, about the same size as my signatures, but I've made it a bit bigger this time. It's not a problem. I don't think it is. As I said, I'm not an expert, so everything's... I actually think I'm going to glue that. i am changed my mind. I'm going to glue it into the book right now because um, it'll need to dry until this evening before I can do anything in the book. So, Or till, till tomorrow. I even leave it till the next day. So basically what I do, is, I mean... This is the fiddly bit. This, make sure you've got your book up the right way. Sort of put it in like that. So it's going to close. It's going to be good. Um, and then I'm going to sit down for this. This is the fiddly bit. So basically what we've got to try and do is kind of get it. I don't ever get it perfect. I never do. There's nothing perfect about my business. Nothing. So I don't know if you can see... There's my gap there. I'm going to flip it around. See how my gap is there. It seems to be fairly sim similar. Just try and see if it's you've got it straightish. That would depend on if you've got your signature stitching straight. That could be a possibility too. So basically now this might be hard for you to see. Now that's my water down one. My other one. I mean, it only has a tiny bit of water. I'll just use this. Okay, I use PVA glue. Some people use Fabri-Tac. Now, I'm, I'm not going to be able to sort of fold it over. I'm basically going to smoosh the glue all over my piece of paper here. Make sure you get plenty of glue on there. I'll tell you what, I just go for it. I really do. I just give it a go. Get gluing. Got plenty of glue on there. I also put some glue on here to make sure I've got enough and do a really long row along there because that's going to be in my opinion is going to be a pressure point right near where the spine is and now get my finger my trusty finger and smoosh it it makes sure it's everywhere you don't want to get it on your paper so just try not maybe I'll, what I might do is I'll just put this paper piece of paper in there that's a good idea. So that way, when I'm smooshing, I'm not smooshing onto my my book. Hopefully it hasn't jiggled about too. So I've got lots of glue there. Got lots of glue here. Just make sure it's smooshed about. Hopefully you can see because I can't... If I fold, if I move it into an angle that you can see better, 
I just want to make sure before I glue it how it's going. I think that's a bit better. Then I guess go like this. Get my finger in there. I might move it over just a tiny bit. Smush it into the thing. Oops. Jiggle it about a little bit. So you get it into like while I, especially with the um, glue that I'm using, it takes a while to dry. So you've got some wiggle wiggle room. So I also going to grab this card. Let's go down in there. Yes, that's going to be okay. I think. Go down in there and go like that. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Take off the excess glue. Okay, so that's in. See how that? I mean, it's pretty. It's not. It's a little bit fiddly. I, I remember I found it really, really. Um, I really did struggle with it a bit when I first did it. Um, but I don't find it so hard now. You sort of get used to it. So swoosh your glue everywhere. I'm I'm putting it onto the flap that I created. Make sure I get plenty. And then on here is important as well. Okay. Smush it around, especially in the pressure point. Well, I, I imagine that's the pressure point. I could be totally wrong. There's probably some expert out there that would know better than me. Well, there's definitely an expert out there. I will want one day. I've got all these courses. I just never get around to doing them yet. Um, one day I'm going to take and nick the booksmith bookmaking course. Because she's amazing. She's like the guru, I think. But everything, I I just have learnt just watching YouTube, honestly. I haven't ever taken a, a bookmaking course. So I'll get rid of that. First, I'm going to run it down in there. I feel like I've got... I mean, it's never going to be exactly the same as the other side, but it's going to be fairly similar. I've got a lot of glue here, see? It's oozing out. That's okay. We'll wipe it off. Just make sure it's all glued down. Okay, now, one very important thing. Do not, and I repeat, do not fold your book up now. Because if you fold your book up, you're going to get, this is all going to lift and you're going to get ripples. Trust me, do not fold your book up. Because I did that. I was, And the video I watched said, do not fold your book up. And what did I do? <laughs> Folded my book up. The first one I did. So you don't want to fold your book up. You're going to be patient. Now, I grab, what do I do? I grab my tab punch, which is really heavy. Fairly heavy. I grab my tab punch and I grab my sticky tape, which is also heavy. And I'm going to put, I don't want this to flop down. So I put them one on here and one on there. And I will not touch that until it's dry. Okay. So I'm just going to move it over here carefully off screen and put those in place. The two reasons I don't I don't want my pages to flop down is because um, one, uh, I don't want them to flop down and stick where there might be some wet glue. They might stick down on there. And the other reason is I feel like if they flop down, then they might lift, lift, li it might lift off. We don't want that to happen either. So that's gonna stay there. Possibly even until tomorrow. You may not. I left my needle back. I always put it all back so I don't lose it because I could lose it. And my tab punch goes in my little basket of equipment there. And thank you. That was someone who um, one of my subbies recommended to put my things into a basket. My equipment that I'm using often so that way I can find it. Well, I don't always do that because do I'm always looking for stuff. Okay. Sorry, just chucking things. Getting things out of the way. Now. The kit. Let's see what we've got to play with here. We might just do a little bit of 
um, well, maybe I'll stop this video. I can post this video tomorrow. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll stop this video and we'll finish off that tomorrow. So I'm going to do a separate video now. So I'll see you in a minute. Good morning. I hope everybody is well. So I'm back again. Um, this will be attached to the previous, the, another video that I did yesterday where we glued this down. Um, so I haven't touched it yet, so we'll see how it goes. So it's all glued. It's nice and dry. It's been overnight. And then I just very carefully jiggle it around and you fold it up. Oh, for a moment I was terrified that I might have glued it in upside down and you just sort of jiggle around and quite often I will then leave it with that on there um, for an overnight which I will do and it will then um, sort of stay down okay so and look how flat it lays it's really 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 great and there's your hidden spine there and just give it a wiggle so this one folded up fairly easily. Sometimes you have to jiggle them a bit, but nothing moves there because it's really well glued down. So the PVA is super. Now I've prepared my end papers. Quite often I won't do that bit until um, until I sort of might start, quite often I start decorating inside. Um, you know, that's up to you whether you have your end paper coming up to there. Um, you just sort of measure it and then cut it out. I think I'll have the blue one here. And then this colour over here. They're both Tim Holtz papers, these ones. Yep, that's going to be good. And I just felt like they worked in well with the theme. So all I do here is um, is put my glue on. I might give it a shake. Get your glue on there. Oh, look at that. What a mess. Get your glue on here. I feel like if you put a nice strong paper on the inside, or even if you put it, you could glue down a fabric as well. Fabric would be nice if you had one that was sort of um, went well with your theme. Um, but a nice strong paper or fabric, let's say, um, on the inside cover, I feel like makes it even stronger. So I get, again, we get plenty of glue on there. much faster to do it with your finger I've got my I did wet my towel today okay and then I put that on here doesn't have to be perfect and then I'll grab my card and just make sure it gets down into that sort of crease there where the fabric is smoosh it around Sometimes, um, if it doesn't take, but normally does, um, you could put, especially here, you could put some um, paper clips, but I'm not going to. It's looking like it's gluing down quite well. I could have cut it a little bit longer, but I, I kind of like, I wanted to see this nice rough edge because I kind of like that, the grunginess of the old book. So make sure it's all glued down and then flip it over and we can glue down this one. I better change my paper because I've got a lot of glue on there. So this is my way of doing the hidden spine. I absolutely do not know if it's correct. It doesn't really matter. It works for me. So um, I will continue to do it that way. I think for me the most important thing out of all of it, um, obviously besides trying to center your pages, and I mean I never get them perfect. I don't measure anything. The videos that I watched, they had, and I tried it that way. They had like a folded piece of paper measuring the center and all that sort of stuff. It just really got in my way. So <laughs> I just eyeball it. It seems to be okay. Okay, so we'll put this one down. But I never uh, really had the courage to show you how I did it because I'm pretty sure I probably not probably there's probably other things that I should be doing to be more correct. But um, as I said, it seems to work for me, so this is the way I do it. Um, so yeah, I never really had the courage, but it just occurred to me with this book that's what I was doing, and we are showing the process. So this, I guess, I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. 
even though it might not be 100% correct. So just smoosh around, make sure it's all glued down. No air bubbles, there shouldn't be because I got glue everywhere. And there we have it. And I think the Tim Holtz papers work really well with Jaff's papers. Um, and so then my next job would be, I'll, I like to make something, you know, fairly nice for there. And then, um, and then I start going and working through the book. Now we did have here, which I haven't done yet. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, we did have this to glue down, so let's do that. I'm not very good at this. I, they usually turn out a little bit wonky, so that's why I don't do them very often. And I might just grab the Tombow glue. And I'll put this under here just so I don't glue it onto my other. Put the glue there. And then I, I guess you just, mine always turn out wonky. I, ne I don't know, I never get these exactly right. Okay, so then you can't see the center of that spine, you see. Whoops. Those are fun. Just make sure it's all stuck down. I'm just getting rid of any excess glue so I don't glue it shut. Okay, so there we have it. So that, it's constructed. So now it just needs all of the fun bits. It's the fun part now. So we'll just go through and see what it's looking like. Nice papers. Love the Florentine papers in there. I might do something on there, on the reverse side. I tell you what, Jaff's kits are really fun. Really, really a lot of fun to work with. Let's get something in here. Yeah, so just go through and, and, and maybe sort of get your pages working properly. Now, why is there glue there? Make sure everything's okay. Check it all out. Nice gap between the signatures. So hopefully we can add some stuff without going too bulky. I'm always, my, my journals are always a bit bulky. You probably want to create a writing board for yourself if you have one of my journals because they're very lumpy bumpy things. And then that flips over like that. That's going to be a tuck to make something fun for in there. What fun this is. I do like flicking the pages, did you notice? love that this is a lovely um, paper that I got that's in my paper packs I haven't done a video for those um, I have just loaded them in my shop yesterday I've got Christmas and um, regular Florentine paper packs and this time in them I put I designed a couple of pages digital kit pages um, that I printed out on the on the, my have this um, paper um, and they're in the kits as well that coordinate with the sort of theme so there's two Christmas papers um, pages in the Christmas ones I will do a video maybe next week sometime um, and and the, in the Florentine the regular Florentine paper pack there are a lot of the papers there's a lot of new papers in there like this one I haven't had that one before um, and there's quite a few new papers in there. There's a few of my favourites that I've re-bought. And then there's quite a lot of new ones in there as well. Oh, and they one of them's got... The Florentine one's got the um, Gazzetta di Firenze, um, a page of that. It's a big newspaper from 1864. And the Christmas one has... Oh, I didn't tell you. When I went to the antique market with my this new antique market that we hadn't been to before... Um, I found Ledger. I never find Ledger. I bought quite a few of them. Um, some of them I'm going to hoard. 
and and then a couple I will share. So I put ledger paper in the Christmas one. So um, it's from 19, 1902 to 1907, something like that, the one that I shared. Um, yep, so that's pretty exciting. Very happy with that. And I can't, I'm itching to use them. I've got lots of scraps and things floating around. Um, you know, little ends that when I cut them were left over. Okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. We need to start thinking about here. I'm not quite sure what I want to do there. Um, I'm not going to start decorating it yet, I don't think, until I've um, sort of made a few things. I like to make a few things and then I can see what I need. So, um, And I don't have a fixed number of things that I feel like I need. So we'll, I'm going to give this a wipe down. Um, it's a bit dirty there. And I'm going to wipe it down. See, I think some of the leather's come away. I think that was covered to there with leather. Um, but I'm going to wipe it down and then I'm going to mod podge it. As well and I'll modge podge around I'll take this out and I'll modge podge around here as well just to just because it's very old um, and it's sort of falling apart so it needs a bit of modge podge so anyway that's the the journal put together um, you need to sort of wiggle with it and get it to sort of sit properly and all that sort of thing um, and we're going to keep on creating now this one that I did yesterday because I'm a ding dong because the ding donginess I love that like that but apparently it's meant to be a triptych so I think there's another one in here so let's do it properly because you ladies are really onto it and I you know well you know I'm sort of I do fly by the seat of my pants <laughs> and I don't plan things before I do them so the ding dongness does tend to happen quite a bit now there's this one this one has these doors now where are the other doors there they are so how do i figure this out guys i guess it, you someone told me it's written on there what it's meant to be well it's not written on that one maybe it's those no just bear with me one second note that's all the rules so i i guess that you meant to open the doors and that's what you see Mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun I'm going to do it I'll, we'll do that one but I would like to have I don't know what that is see there are these tag toppers I've got that I got. I understood that I got that got it oh one of those is going to go there I think on there you see you open it and then it's going to have one of those so that's where they go so there must be other doors to go on the other side of that. Oh, maybe those could even go on there. And look at that. That's a trifold. I'll have to study a little bit, won't I, guys, before I put the video on. <laughs> Interesting. You should be used to be me by now. I mean, oh, look at that one. I haven't noticed that one. That one looks like a lot of fun. Ta tag pockets with window. Outer hinges are optional to form a pocket. Right. I'm just going to see what other things before I cut anything up and do more boo boos. I love those. We'll have to do something with those. There's just so much fun. They're such creative kits. They really are a lot of fun. Okay, well, I didn't see anything really writing too much describing there what I'm supposed to be doing. So anyway, I'll just have to wing it. I'll just have to make my mistakes and wing it. I don't want to lose these pretty little things. I have to invent something to do with those. Bring my little rubbish basket over. I probably should be using my cutter. So 
So I keep get I get off asked often about my scissors. Um, these scissors I just bought here um, on a website. I don't even know what brand they are. And my little blue scissors that I fussy cut with, they were from a pack of scissors from Spotlight in Australia. Um, so, um, yeah, I can't really be very too helpful with those. I don't even know what brand they were. My mum actually bought those for me. They were just a gift. I'm going to get my cutter for these. Oh no, I won't. I'm I'm going to glue them on, and then I will um I'll trim them down. So that obviously will go there. Okay, so if I fold this, like that, and then like that. Oh, they do just meet these ones. Have I gone crooked? Probably. Oh well. And then I grab my glue book and I need to put this one here because that's where the I see the hinge. Make sure I get glue everywhere. Open it out and line it up and glue it on there. And in this case, I am going to line it up with my edge as best I can. I don't ink, so I'm not an inker. So I'm going to have a white edge there, aren't I? I could have, if I printed it on tea dyed paper, there we go, that covered it up. And then I'll trim. There you see. Such a fine bit of white that I can see that I'm having trouble getting there. Okay, well that that's good. I like that. And then I've got this one. And that one will go there. And then that will be stuck down on a page as a pocket. That's what's going to happen. Hopefully you can see me. I don't know if I'm on screen or not. Let's see how that looks. That's okay. Pretty cool. So this apparently is what I was supposed to do with the other one, of course. Of course, I didn't get it right. Now, this can be, this could be like a hinge, for example. You could hinge it somewhere. 
and then it could flip down if you wanted to and have writing that could be fun and then you open it and that's in there but i'm going to put it in as a pocket as it i think it's intended so um it would just glue down you glue down the three sides And I might snip a little thing out there. So that's going to be a pocket. But let me see here. I just wanted to cut this out and just see. What I was wondering, if, if I were to cut that out, is that supposed to go on that side? And then you, you hinge it? I don't know. No, I think it's narrow. That's meant to be a tag. Was that meant to go there? No, it's narrow. They're meant to be tags. Fold that in half. Just going to give it a little trim there just to make sure it's even because you don't fold the best. And I'm just wondering what that would look like if I, oops, if I were to put that there. I like that. I might put that up there so you just sort of open it with the tab. I like that idea. Some may not, but I like it. Yeah, well, that one worked out well. Now, the other thing, interesting thing, like I, you could do a little, you could put a little flower up there. Um, but the other thing, you could put also put like a piece of tracing paper there, like or no vellum would be stronger, um, or acetate and make it a little pocket could be fun. That could also be fun. So I'll have a think about that. But that is that one, and I'm going to that's going to go in as a pocket. But I may decide, I may decide to get take that off. Um, I'll see whether I'll glue that down or whether I'll take it off. Yeah. And then they get made into tags. So let's just trim this one down. I printed all of the, the accessories out. I don't know if I, hopefully I didn't miss one. And I'm going to do, oops. I'm going to glue that. Maybe I'll glue it to this. It's a bump. No, that's a bit bumpy, that one. Um, and glue it to there. I'm going to strengthen this one because if it's going to be sliding in out of pockets, I don't want it bending or anything like that. And then I'm going to glue it here to. Um, Catherine's, created by Catherine's avocado dyed paper because it's lovely. I like the other side more, the colour. So you just choose which side you like. Sometimes you might like one side, sometimes you like the other side. 
How do you get rid of that? That's dragging the bananas. And then I'll grab my cutter again. So that would slide in there, you see, but you could also um, have a little pocket and that could sit in there and then the other one could go behind there. Cute. Okay, so I think that's my video for today. I need to study these things a little bit more and, um, and I will see you again soon. So I hope um, the, the hidden spine was clear how to, how to do that. And um, we are going to make some more stuff. I'll probably make some more stuff off screen. And as I said, if there's anything, you know, tricky, I'll show you how I made it. Um, and that way we can start sort of, um, I'll have enough stuff to start, you know, sort of decorating inside. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon. Bye.